Hey there, folks. Just a quick introduction before I get to the facts. Uh, normally, I say greetings, Graveyard Disciples, to start one of my normal videos off. But this isn't a paranormal video. But Scared Sheetless isn't just about ghosts and things that go bump in the night. Uh, no, actually, over Scared Sheetless's 13-year history, uh, as a blog at least, uh, I've done quite a few blog pieces and a few articles on the world's most famous ship, the RMS Titanic. I figured since I'm doing uh, video versions of my blogs, articles, what have you, why not do a couple on the subject I also enjoy talking about, the Titanic. A few months uh, before I started doing Scared Sheetless videos, I had the idea of doing a channel focus on shipwrecks. My idea was to call it The Reckoning, but spelled, you know, W-R-E-C-K, you know, for wreck. Um, I'm not very good at names, but I thought it was, you know, easy to remember at least. Uh, anyway, instead I'm just going to do that here. Uh, you get some paranormal, some macabre, and some shipwrecks. You know, because shipwrecks are creepy too, you know, people with, you know, people don't like seeing human, uh, man-made objects underwater. So hey, I think it works out. Um, now most of you, I'm sure, who are going to watch this probably know quite a few of these facts, and that's fine. Uh, I did these as a way to maybe introduce the Titanic to a new generation of Titaniacs, as we're called, and hopefully keep the interest in Titanic afloat for generations to come. These videos will be just quick facts. I'll leave the more elaborate pieces to the fine folks, such as historic travels or the big move. Uh, anyway, this uh, introduction is actually longer than the facts part, so let's get to why you're here. There are some people who believe that the Titanic and Olympic were secretly switched due to insurance purposes, and the White Star Line greedily uh, cashed in on the tragedy. This has been debunked. And um, just for, uh, you know, for your information type of deal, uh, Historic Travels did a pretty good piece on that too. I'll try to find it, put the link in the description. The Titanic's original maiden voyage date was supposed to be in March, not April, but plans changed due to Titanic's uh, sister ship, Olympic's collision with the HMS Hawk, but also for another reason that we'll get to in a moment. The Titanic struck the iceberg because of a curse? There was a conspiracy theory going around that the Titanic sank due to an Egyptian curse, the theory goes that the Titanic has some interesting cargo on board, aside from domestic animals and a few cars. The mummified remains of Amun Ra. This has also been debunked. The Titanic's maiden voyage almost didn't happen again due to a huge coal mine strike in 1912, just months before the Titanic's first voyage and only voyage. Uh, let's be honest here. Uh, the White Star Line put a halt to all ships and used those ships' coal storage to stock the Titanic so she could set sail on April 10th as scheduled. Speaking of coal from the Titanic, you can actually buy a piece of it online. Do you own a piece of Titanic's coal? Let me know in the comments. The Titanic is no longer owned by the White Star Line, which yes, makes sense for a multitude of reasons, but rather a company that used to be called RMS Titanic Inc., which changed its name to Premier Expeditions. They have auctions and sell items that they got from the ship. Some believe this is a form of grave rob robin, while others say it is to pre uh, preserve the history of the ship as she is rusting away at an alarming rate. And those people feel we should save as much of the Titanic before she's gone forever. There is a rumor, though it has been proven to be false, that the 1911 version of the Poseidon Adventure was playing the night the Titanic struck the iceberg. For those who do not know, this movie is based on another ship disaster. A lot of us are familiar with the 1970s version, as I am. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And because I could find nothing of the 1911 version, I decided to play that version in the background instead. Oh, 
Oh no, several people have had some brilliant ideas about raising the world's most famous ocean liner out from the depths of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. One theory even included filling the ship with ping pong balls. And that was supposed to raise this massive ship. Okay. Rusticles is a term that was coined when the Titanic wreck was discovered by Robert Ballard in 1985. As you can see in the video, rust looks like it's dripping down from the ship that looks like, yes, icicles. That's the word, I, uh, rusticles. Until it was discovered in 1985, it was a popular theory that the ship never split in two. This is evident by earlier Titanic movies such as Titanic... and Night to Remember. We both have the sick, uh, ship sick and intact. This is despite eyewitnesses saying they did see the Titanic split in two. I'm going to show a page from Encyclopedia Titanica Org, a brilliant source for Titanic information that I've spent hours on uh, for quite a few years now, but they do have a page strictly talking about eyewitness accounts of those who saw the Titanic break. As you will notice when we get to the bottom of the page, a majority of the people did not state or knew if it broke. Uh, some people think so because of the explosions they heard as Titanic was making her final plunge. But most people didn't seem to see it, uh, felt she sank intact, or were simply not asked. Uh, these people cannot be blamed because despite what mo most movies, TV shows, and documentaries making it seem like it was a bright night, uh, it wasn't. The stars were out, but there was no moon. So when the Titanic's lights failed, aside from a few that were di uh, dimly lit, uh, it was very dark. Uh, this could be why some people who were close to the ship saw a break, while others in lifeboats further away uh, think it's sank intact. I'll provide a link to the video where Ocean Liner designs a great channel I recently found. Did a fantastic job recreating how those in lifeboats in, in the water would have experienced the breakup and how dark it truly was that night on April 15th. Thank you so much for watching. This video turned out to be <laughs> longer than uh, expected because my plan is to make these videos run time under five minutes. My plan is, and I think it's a good one, is every April 15th compile all the videos I've done on the Titanic for that year and release it in a log version for the anniversary of the sink. And I, I mean, I can keep this up until the day I no longer want to do Scared Sheetless, so it could be a pretty long ongoing series and hopefully it is because i'm sure much like you i can't get enough of the titanic i just really enjoy talking about it i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you next time on titanic facts i normally say keep it scary uh closing out on all my other videos but this isn't paranormal uh so uh keep it sailing i guess uh yeah we'll just go with uh take care and hope to see you next time all right